And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. My name is Jim, and I'm net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We're recording now live till 5, and then we'll post it up on YouTube so you can come by later and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, that's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page, where we're now featuring about 1,350 recorded QSO Vlog air checks. Our mission statement for the KC9VKV QSO Vlog net is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receiver side, we're running four internet SDR receivers monitoring Rochester, New York, Milford, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Georgia, and Arlington, Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also in this selector is our local receiver audio. And today our local receiver is running two large 10 foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed north and south, the other east and west. The north and south mag loop can be rotated. They are selected by a three position rotary selector. Position three of the selector is a cophase option that many times is three to four dB hotter than mag loop one or two by themselves. We do use a lot of rotary selectors in our shack, mainly because there's nothing faster than a rotary switch for comparing multiple signals. Also today, on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specifically oriented dipole antenna. One leg of this dipole is broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg is broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicators so when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO video, uh, QSO Vlog video. Well those are our working conditions, how about yours? This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog network and now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I sure do. You're 20, 25 over 9. I'm copying you uh, direct uh, right from southern Indiana. And uh, if you're copying me, okay, I have something that you might uh, get a kick out of. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, sir, I'm copying you on my local antenna. I'm having some difficulty, it looks like, with my... Uh, the internet uh, to this afternoon will be working on that, trying to get our four uh, SDR receivers up. But uh, go ahead, what you got for us? No, K K one G said L. Well, two things. Uh, I have one of uh, BK two uh, SR. He's located in uh, more or less southeast Australia. He's just south of the capital of Australia at Canberra. And the other one, I have Captain Mike at thirty-seven thousand feet. 
uh, was, uh, he was traveling at about 360 miles per hour over the ground with a tailwind and a temperature of 70 below zero Fahrenheit or minus 55. But here is this morning, uh, here is this morning, uh, the, uh, yeah, you know, the 6th, the 6th of November 2020, and this is, uh, uh, uh Chris, VK2S4, uh, near uh, South Canberra, I think. Thank you very much for knowing here. Uh, very good to hear everybody on this evening. And, uh, getting into a warm spring here with Charlie, but it's been a very wet spring out here. 130 millimeters of rain for October, so, uh, Okay, now that uh, was Chris. Now here is, uh, uh, let's see, here is Captain Mike yesterday as he was traveling from Sacramento, California to uh, Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, here he is at 37,000 feet. Here, uh, with the Alpha 3 after WA3O, we can be on KX4 with you, Charlie. Okay. I thought we were at uh, 370 here, just uh, on the southern part of Chicago, with about 630 miles from uh, Philadelphia, uh, which is our destination. Uh, getting in there about uh, just after 2 o'clock, and uh, we have uh, minus uh, 55 degrees, and we're doing uh, just over 500 knots. Uh, Okay, could you copy that, Jim? KC9, uh, BKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Great copy on that. And you're uh, copying both of those on uh, 40 meters? Is that a Roger? No. Uh, BK2SR was uh, uh, right on 40. It was on 40 yesterday. Uh, KX4WC Aeronautical Mobile was on 20. And uh, we were on uh, 14 uh, 222. 14 222. And before he signed off, he crawled up to 40 over 9 here with 400 watts and just an 8 foot piece of wire uh, near the channel. It floored me. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, it sounded, both sounded really good, Roger. Well, as long as it's uh, Q5, that's, uh, that's what counts. Yes, sir. Well, how's the weather been up that way, Charlie? Are you getting uh, those heat waves coming in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, very, very uh, warm today. Right now it's 6, oh, 60 degrees. And uh, a couple uh, days after the month started, we had a seven and a half inches of snow. Seven and a half inches of snow. Uh, and that didn't last. Uh, it went, uh, the rest of it went off yesterday afternoon went off yesterday uh, afternoon. So for the whole season, we picked up, uh, if you add them all up, uh, 24 inches of snow. But right now, the normal high is 42 degrees or plus 5 Celsius. And uh, right now, it is 60. That's the high for the day. And partly sunny, partly cloudy. So this is way far and above normal. Most of the state is suffering from more or less a drought, especially in the southeastern part of New Hampshire. However, up here, uh, we are not having uh, a drought. Uh, the month of October, where we normally get uh, close to four inches of rain, we had uh, about eight and a third inches of rain. And that is the equivalent of, 30, uh, of uh, eight and a third inches of rain came down in October. So we're not uh, lacking. We've had periods uh, a month or so ago where it got dry for quite a while, then all of a sudden everything, uh, uh, all the rain came uh, crashing down. That uh, snowstorm when we, on October 17th, when we had that 17 inches of heavy, heavy wet snow, uh, the equivalent uh, of rain uh, in that thing must have been uh, uh, oh, boy, I would say uh, two and a half to three inches of rain just uh, in, in all that heavy, heavy wet snow. Try to lift that on the shovel. You almost needed a ball day. <laughs> KC9, BKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Now, you, you're going to have to take it easy as far as uh, getting out there and uh, shoveling that snow, you know, because, uh, well, <laughs> neither one of us are, are, are getting any younger, you know. 
No, yeah, but uh, and I try not to think of eight. Actually, I know this sounds nuts. As long as my sugar count, as long as my sugar count is okay, as long as that is okay, I, I don't even hardly get out of breath shoveling heavy snow. I feel good. I feel good, but the slightest drop of my sugar count, boy, I feel so weak, uh, I can't do anything until I elevate my uh, my blood sugar. So I have to watch it very carefully. In fact, if I'm doing a lot of exercise on one day, the next day or the day after, I'm apt to, uh, even though I'm supposed to be a type 1 diabetic, I'll suddenly produce my own insulin on top of uh, of the regular insulin, and then, uh, then I get in trouble. So I have all these parameters I have to watch, and I've been taking daily insulin for 55 years or more, five, five years, and uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, Roger, Roger, yes. So, well, the morning uh, <laughs> ritual and the uh, the evening ritual kind of, you know, uh, keeps you uh, straight with the numbers, I guess, Roger. Oh, yeah, I have to keep track of those numbers uh, all the time, uh, Jim, because if I don't, if I don't, uh, I, uh, I can get in trouble. So I try to plan everything out. Uh, after all, I'm only 88 years old, so right? <laughs> Roger that, sir. Well, listen, uh, Charlie, I appreciate your dropping by. Always uh, a pleasure. Uh, and you have a really good uh, weekend coming up, Roger. Okay, uh, real fine, uh, Jim. And we should catch you next uh, week. And here's how you're coming in. I think. Hey, one, G, Janelle, the group. I got hit by LHA, too, Sugar Radio. Yeah, here you are. Charlie, I appreciate you dropping by. Always uh, a pleasure. Uh, and you have a really good uh, weekend coming up, Roger. Okay, I hope that came through. Uh, 73, Jim, and uh, we'll see you next week. By that time, it's going to be a lot cooler than it is now. K1G's and L. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Three's up that 73 up that way, sir, and you have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net. My name is Jim, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. We uh, record live from now till 5, uh, so if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. We'll uh, record and then post the whole thing up on YouTube, and uh, you can drop by uh, and uh, check it out. Uh, the uh, the way to get there is the call sign, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by today's date, 11620. And that will take you directly to this recording. If you want to check out our QSO Vlog uh, group uh, recordings, uh, we have about 1,350. Uh, you just uh, do uh, KC9 VKV, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog uh, uh, um QSO page, and there we you have uh, 1,350 uh, some odd QSOs. Well, anyway, uh, we are uh, standing by listening. Anybody who needs uh, air check, uh, give me a shout. KC9 VKV listening. Kilo 4, Lima YTV. Kilo 4, well, North Carolina, Jim, go ahead. Uh, Roger, Roger. It's Kilo Mike 4, Sierra Whiskey X ray. Uh, name is Mike, and my location is North Carolina. I uh, just got this uh, IC7300, and would like some feedback on the uh, the way I sound, ever. All right, uh, uh, Jim in North Carolina, uh, stand by just a minute, we'll be going to you next. Uh, and uh, Mike in North Carolina, uh, give me about uh, 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system. Uh, Mike in North Carolina, do you copy? Uh, roger, roger, yeah, I'm... Uh I'm running a G5RV. It's, uh, I think it's a little over 100 feet all the way. Running a, uh, about 30 feet of ladder line into the uh, coax coming into the shop. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger, Mike. Well, it looks really close. Your radio setup. Uh, just review a little bit there. Uh, do you have your compressor on at a three? Uh, our, our setup for the uh, 7300 compressor on at a three. Roger. This is uh, a frequency in use. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Obviously, uh, does not uh, speak English.
or understand, comprehend English. Hello, Mike. Uh, how are we doing there, sir? Yeah, I'm trying to find the settings. Hold on. All right, in the meantime, in between time, give me your call sign slowly, phonetically again, please. That's Kilo Mike 4 Sierra Whiskey X-Ray. QSL? Uh, Roger, Roger, Roger. Well, listen. Uh, let me give you uh, let me give you some information. You can just jot it down in notes and uh, uh, work on it uh, when you find out uh, where everything is. Roger. Uh, go ahead. All right. First thing is uh, get your compressor in line at a three. Uh, get that compressor on and adjust it to a three. Then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And uh, you are going to have to need to speak a little faster here to keep that uh, ALC meter up. So it's kind of like one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, the speaking fast keeps the meter up and it's a lot easier to adjust as opposed to one, two, three. So uh, you want to adjust that uh, ALC meter to uh, read mid scale to two thirds by way of uh, your mic gain control. Roger. Hi, uh, Roger, Roger. And uh, what mic are you using there, Mike? I'm using a Heil Pro 7 uh, headset with a boom mic. Okay, uh, suggest that you take that boom and go as far in front of you as you can. Stretch that boom as far in front of you as you can, and then at the last minute, make a 90-degree turn on your boom there. But you want to get that boom as far away from your mouth as you can, and then turn, turn 90 so you're talking into, into the mic. Okay, how does that sound? Any better? I think so, sir. Yes, uh, you know, otherwise you uh, are going to be getting plosives, and we don't want that. So I think uh, you're pretty much uh, good there. Why don't you give me about 10 seconds of uh, what you like best about your 7300? Uh, roger, Roger. I'm uh, 72 years old. I uh, have lived in North Carolina since 1983. Uh, I'm originally from Indiana. That's my home state. So married, and uh, both my wife and I are retired. I have a son, 46 years old, lives in Indiana. Oh, Roger that. Roger that. Sounds good. Now, what I would do is uh, I would crank in a little more top-end EQ. That uh, 7300 has a two-band equalizer. So what you want to do is uh, get into that, uh, I think they call it tone control or something, and uh, get to the top end, and I want you to crank in two more clicks hotter top end than where it is. Two more clicks hotter than uh, where it is on the top end. Roger? Uh, roger, Roger. On, uh, on the tone, go two clicks higher? On the uh, top end, the high frequency end, the, the high end of the tone of your equalizer, the top end, uh, two clicks more than where you are. And I'll just let you make notes of that, and then when you find everything, you can do it. Roger. Okay, I'm up to where it says uh, trans TX bass, TX treble. Uh, I've got TX set it wide, or TBAW set it wide. Okay, so uh, what you want to do there is uh, transmit single sideband, uh, and then uh, that uh, top end top control, uh, high frequency control, uh, two more it clicks hotter than where it is. It uh, goes to five, or so you want to go two clicks more than where you are. Uh, I'm not sure I understand where it's at. I'm trying to find it. Over. Okay, it's, um, it's transmit, a single sideband, and uh, uh, tone control. Roger. Well, I'll just leave you with a message there, and uh, you got the note, and then you can, uh, you know, when you when you find it, you can uh, process it there, Roger. Oh uh, yeah, Roger, Roger, on that. Uh, treble uh, EQ, treble EQ. You got two controls: one bass EQ, one treble EQ. So on the treble EQ, you want to go plus two, additional two from where you are. I'm at a plus three right now. All right, so that would mean you go to a plus five. 
Okay, how does that sound, Robert? All right, uh, tell me, uh, gosh, uh, something I don't know now. Tell me the best thing you like about your 7300. I like the versatility. I, you know, there's just so much to learn, and it's just way better than what I had over uh, Roger, Mike. I think you've got it there, sir. Sounds uh, beautiful. Your dynamic range is running now about uh, 3 dB, uh, a little bit, maybe 4. Uh, so uh, that's why you want to check that uh, that uh, compressor. You want to bring that uh, online at, a, at about a 3, and that should uh, make you absolutely perfect. But once you do that, once you uh, bring that uh, compressor online at a 3, you need to go back to your ALC and uh, double check that you're running mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger? Uh, roger, Roger. I'll do that. All right, and that's a, that's a good suggestion for any time you change mics or do anything uh, in that uh, your audio chain, you need to double ch go back and double check your ALC to make sure that uh, everything is running as it should. Because, you know, not all mics are created equal, and, uh, you know, when you change mics, uh, there could be a 10 dB difference in, uh, in mics. So uh, you would either be 10 dB hot or 10 dB uh, uh, low. Uh, so uh, always uh, go back and uh, check your ALC and the adjustment for the ALC is your mic gain and uh, you want to run that uh, ALC mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Uh, roger, Roger. I'll check that out and uh, make the adjustment. Over. Thank you, sir. You have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. Roger. Uh, roger, Roger. Again, what was that uh, website or the YouTube site to go to? Uh, call it a search on YouTube for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by today's date, 11-6-20. That will take you to uh, this recording. Roger. Okay, I'll read Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and key in the date, 11 6 Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that will take you directly to this recording. Roger, Roger. I appreciate it. You have a great day. 73. Roger, Mike. Uh, 73 to you, sir. Have a great weekend. This is KC9VKV, the uh, QSO VLOG net. Uh, if you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KI4YTV. There was a, uh, uh, let's see, first off, uh, there's a Jim in North Carolina. I think Jim in North Carolina is in there. Hang on, you guys, just a minute. Jim, are you in there? Yeah, KC9VKV, Kilo 4, Lima, Juliet, Echo. Good afternoon, Jim. This is Jim in North Carolina. We uh, just thought we'd check in with you. We've redone a bunch of uh, RF cables here in the shack and uh, pulled the station apart and uh, <laughs> put it back together. I think I've got everything back. Uh, I don't think I've bumped any of my audio controls here. I hope I haven't. But I thought I'd check in with the old pro there who's got all those uh, graphic displays and everything uh, making all those pretty colors and everything in the picture. I thought I'd just give you a shout and make sure we're still okay from the last time, over. Yes, sir. You're uh, you're excellent there. And uh, did you pick up a 100 watts extra when you redid all your cables? Well, we picked up a little bit. We had some coax that uh, was a little worse for wear. We uh, I have a confession. We had some that uh, were a little bit uh, less than desirable as far as quality to begin with. And so uh, we went with, uh, at least on the desktop here, we went with the uh, LMR240 uh, Times Fiber, I mean Times Microwave uh, cable here on the desktop. And we have the, uh, now we have the uh, LMR400 going out to the uh, end fed wire. So I think we're okay uh, as far as the coax goes now. And uh, yeah, I did want to check and make sure the audio was still okay. Over. Yes, sir, just, just fine. I was uh, running my loop uh trying to uh, double check my uh, my targeting on my uh, main loop antenna had uh, had some adversity befall it uh, you know we uh, live for kind of uh, on the edge of a wooded area and there are numerous trees some in better shape than others and there are about five trees along the power line right of way that are in desperate need of being um, taken care of their their uh, 
ceased to be alive and uh, they're widow makers actually <laughs> and uh, so as we're negotiating for the last three years for the power company to get off their duff and come out here and uh, and take care of them one of them did uh, demise right on top of my loop antenna needless to say it did uh, rearrange the uh, the very nice symmetry of my circle <laughs> and I had to uh, perform quite uh, quite a bit of surgery to uh, get that antenna back together and that was the uh, my loop that has the uh, rotor on it so uh, I was uh, gosh uh, really in in bad shape without uh, without that antenna Roger oh my goodness yes oh lordy well we've had uh, we've had a little goings on here uh, in our area a bunch of people with trees and stuff and uh, at my daughter's house by the way my daughter's back from uh, New York City she's moved back here in Carolina going uh, into her house she rented her house out while she was in New York she, which she inherited from her grandmother. But she's going to be living here in amongst us uh, southern folks here one more time. So we're glad to have my daughter back. And she lost her outside uh, outside the light uh, LED uh, uh, area lighting, uh, uh, what you call it. It's kind of like a street light, but one of those uh, real tall backyard lights and all. She lost that, lost a couple of trees, and uh, oh man, we got a mess over there. We got a we got to uh, deal with and man, I hate you uh, hate you have trouble with your antenna but did you say you got it all back going now Oh yeah yeah we uh, got it back it doesn't have quite the nice symmetry the absolute perfect symmetry it's kind of uh, somewhat of a pear shape a little bit at the top it doesn't it doesn't just have the absolute perfect symmetry that it did but close enough I think Yeah real fine well very good Jim and uh, with that, I'm I'm going to go ahead and say 73. See, I really appreciate you uh, appreciate you giving me a report here. And by the way, one of those pieces of coax here that uh, was interconnecting uh, from the rig to the uh, coax switch was uh, discolored like it had been warm and had heated up. And so, uh, man, I can't have that. <laughs> I just went ahead and uh, turned loose of some of that uh, cabbage I had on the hip and. Uh, I'll recuperate over that here in a little while, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you much, Jim. Uh, 73, and I hope, you, uh, hope you're doing well up there. Stay safe, and uh, God bless up there in uh, Louisville. Uh, KC9 VKV. Oh, and by the way, hello to Charlie, and hello to the other gentlemen from uh, North Carolina, if they're still listening. Uh, the gentlemen from North Carolina are really, really coming in good. Uh, me being also in North Carolina, we've got some short skip going on, so very good. K4 LJ 73 Jim. Roger, Roger, Jim. Uh, Roger that. And which way do you are, were you running today? Oh, we're running the uh, Drake TR7 with the uh, L75, about uh, 850 watts. Roger, Roger. All right, sir. You have a great uh, weekend and 73 to you. Thanks for checking in. Uh, this is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog Net. Uh, this afternoon, for whatever reason, uh, the internet gods have spoken, and we have no SDRs to work with. So we're working with our two uh, ten-foot uh, diameter vertical magnetic loops and a um, a no SWR dipole antenna oriented uh, one lobe towards uh, New York and the other lobe towards Miami. We're creating uh, 20 overs from those locations, uh, conditions permitting, and uh, a hot spot through the Carolinas. So this is KC9 VKV Friday afternoon QSO Vlog. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KI4 YTV. KI4 station, come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Kilo India 4, Yankee Tango Victor. It's Ed over here in Alabama, Jim. Uh, Roger, Ed. How goes it in Alabama? Uh, pretty good. I went back to the drawing board on uh, this BM800 microphone on the 7300. I think I got it pretty close, but I thought I'd check in with the doctor. Oh, sounds good. Now, uh, let me hear you just a little bit more, and let's see. Uh, have you double-checked your uh, ALC level? Yeah, it might, it might be a little hot, but uh, it's you know, I got good reports. Uh, I'm running a 560-foot loop, a Dentron amplifier, which you could probably hear whining in the background, a Dentron tuner, and a 560-foot loop with homemade ladder line. 
Roger, well, your dynamic range there is 3 dB right on target, and your equalization is, is nice. I think you've uh, done a great improvement there, Roger. Okay, uh, it's not too hot. I, the mic gain set at 30. Would you cut it back? I have the, uh, the compressor on one. Yeah, I'll tell you what I would do. I would run the compressor at 3, but I would also go and look at my ALC and adjust my mic level to where my ALC was mid-scale to two-thirds. Because you need that uh, compression to be able to come up with a, a 3 dB dynamic range. Uh, you know, what we're doing is, uh, you know, your typical transmitter without processing is, uh, oh, a 10 dB dynamic range with 30% of average peak modulation. So we want to take that to a 3 dB dynamic range with an average percent of peak modulation of between 80 and 85%. And you can only de do that uh, by uh, getting that uh, compressor in there, a token amount at a 3. Roger. Well, I'll, I'll probably pick up a lot of background, but here it goes. I'm on one, two, three. There's three right there. And you know, this, this BM-800 is a lot hotter than the other mic. Yeah, now what I need for you to do is put that on a three and then go look at your ALC and adjust your mic gain for uh, mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC. Just try that. Let me hear what it sounds like. Okay, well, I'm definitely hot, so back it down. Uh, probably right about there. It looks pretty close. Okay, that's not too bad. Dead key, and let me hear where your uh, compressor goes. HPY, Jim. Yeah, it does, uh, does uh, come up there after a while. I would go back to the one. I think you're right there. Uh, that uh, this blower in your amp is pretty loud, buddy. Well, I mean, I got it on high. I want to keep those tubes cool. You know, I do run a couple nets. Yeah, Roger. All right. <laughs> I would say put a blanket over it, but that would defeat everything there. <laughs> you would be blowing tubes. Yeah, well, I think that's why, you know, and I also noticed the uh, the wattage creeping up, like the semi-RF getting it anyway, but I think it's just picking up the fan when I turn the compressor on more than one. Uh, so the bass, the treble was all pretty good then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine EQ curve. Uh, you want to take a look at it, uh, uh, come aboard on our uh, QSO Vlog uh, recording, uh, YouTube, uh, KC9VKV, today's date 11.620, and uh, take a look at the, uh, the frequency analyzer, uh, spectrum analyzer on the set. Roger? Yeah, I will, and that's another reason I wanted to check in with you, because I, I can listen to myself, too, and be like, well, I like it a little hotter or something, but... Uh, it, I, I, I don't know, before it was very hollow, I got a, people said it was hollow, so I, I redid it a little bit, and I got it inside a plus two type, it's a stock plus two style, you know, with the fin on the top, so I ha actually have a desk mic, uh, I'm about six inches away from it right now, and, uh, you know, I got it in a desk mic housing, so I'm not using the, the hand mic, I feel like I'm mobile when I'm using the hand mic, and I'm not particularly fond of booms, I just wanted a desk mic. So, okay, I'll let you get and uh, help some other people there, KI4YTV, thanks Jim. Roger, Ed, uh, just a note of uh, information there, on the set, you know, our spectrum analyzer, there are three white uh, stripes on it, uh, the one furthest to the left is 100 cycles, the furthest white stripe to the left is 100 cycles, and then as you move towards the right end, the first white stripe on the right end is 1KC, then there is a black area, uh, which is 2KC, and the next stripe is, uh, is 4KC. Roger? Okay, I'll check that out. I know you post it uh, uh, two or three days. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, give us uh, a couple of days to get it up, Roger. Outstanding, and keep up the good work, Jim. Uh, it's always good to check audio with you because, uh, you know, you take the time with people. And uh, hopefully we get some of these guys straightened out, especially uh, with, when they're new to the radio. At least I know where all the controls are. I can play around with them pretty quickly. Uh, KI4YTV, I'm standing by and copy of the mail. Roger, Ed 73 up that way, sir, or down that way. Uh, have a great weekend, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, drop by uh, next Friday. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.
Uh, there's about five very weak stations, and uh, none of them over a dB uh, over my noise levels. I uh, don't think we'd be able to work those. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon kiss of Vlognet. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. The station ending in Lima. Station ending in Lima. Come back slowly with a call sign. Victor Echo 3, Papa Delta Lima, USO. Papa Delta Lima, what's the name there? The name is Paul. Uh, we're located in Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, Paul, and uh, you're in uh, Ontario, is that a Roger? Yes, sir. Okay, well, usually, Paul, I have uh, my, uh, my Milford PA SDR. Uh, that I use uh, quite a bit and uh, unfortunately this afternoon uh, I usually run four internet SDRs and uh, I have no internet so uh, my SDRs are uh, are not functioning this afternoon so I'm copying you on my uh, local uh, uh, radio and uh, if you will tell me about uh, 10 seconds of uh, your antenna situation uh, I'll see what uh, the best antenna might be okay uh we're using a 7300, uh, the best mic, uh, not a power mic, best mic, um, and it's going through a G5RV up about 40 feet in the air, uh, set up horizontally. Oh, Roger that. I'm pulling around now with the um, my uh, main 10-foot uh, uh, mag dish uh, loop. And uh, I think uh, that should be uh, it there. Now, I'm transmitting only on my uh, dipole, and I'm receiving, uh, I have a large selection of antennas on my receive. So, um, uh, try it again. Let's see where you are. Okay. And I forgot to mention, I do have a on ALS. In line here, so he's doing about 400 watts. Okay, Paul, uh, copy me okay? Yes, sir. No problem. All right, Paul. Uh, what we want to do then is uh, set up your radio there. We suggest uh, the first thing is bring that uh, com uh, com <laughs> com com uh, uh, the compressor. Yes, the compressor, better known in some circles as the processor. It all depends on where you know what uh, they want to call it. But uh, either one of those uh, will work uh, if your compressor is uh, online. Out of three is what we need. Roger. Okay, there we go. It, it was at a five. I just put it to a three. Okay, now uh, I want you to go to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And I, the way to set that ALC is you can do it one, two, three, but it doesn't work too well. It works better if you uh, go one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the meter up so you can see where it is to adjust it. And you want to uh, use your mic gain and adjust your ALC for mid scale to two thirds operation. Roger. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's uh, it's about uh, yeah, a little hot there, maybe. Uh, there's about uh, it's just making past half. Yeah, that sounds uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, now tell me, uh, uh, what radio are you running, sir? The Icon seventy three hundred. And what mic are you using with that? It's just a homemade mic I threw together out of an old lamp. It's just a four-dollar electric uh, element uh, hooked up to a PPP switch. Roger. Well, th that welcome to it. That's what I'm using uh, with a little EQ to it. And speaking of EQ, do you know where your EQ is on the uh, 7300 for sideband? Actually, I've never changed it since I bought it. Uh, I always had good reports, so I didn't see a need to move it. Roger. Okay, let me uh, give you uh, a note there to uh, self. When you find your uh, your EQ, you want to uh, go up plus two clicks from where you are. Plus two clicks from where you are. That's a, You've got to five clicks on that top, uh, top band EQ, so you want to go two additional from wherever you are at the moment. Roger. Okay, and that was for which again? I'm sorry? Uh, I got it. Uh, on what do I have to go up to? Okay. That part, sorry. 
Okay, we're talking about uh, equalization, your tone control. Uh, for that 7300, you go to uh, uh, transmit, a single sideband, tone control, uh, treble, plus two clicks from where you are. Okay. Um, I, I wrote that down. I'm not going to do it right this second, but I am going to do it. Uh, I, I just write it down now so I don't forget or anything. <laughs> Oh, Roger there, Paul. Well, uh, gosh, I think that'll uh, put you just about uh, where you need to be there. That 7300 is a great radio. And, you know, the um, thing is, uh, that hand mic that came with that radio is just absolutely perfecto when you uh, pull it to the side of your mouth and talk across it. Uh, you don't want to, you know, that hand mic is was just uh, designed sp perfectly for that radio. Uh, but obviously, you know, uh, I'm sure that you wanted a, a desk mic. Just be aware that you're going to have to crank in a little EQ uh, to, uh, to really have the articulation that you need. Roger? Roger that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Paul, uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, uh, check in uh, next uh, Friday, and uh, we'll hear that uh, additional top-end uh, EQ uh, uh, characteristics and see what it sounds like. Roger? Absolutely. Uh, it's a date. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, 73 for now. E3 PDL. Back over to you. Roger, Roger, Paul. Three seventy-three is up that way towards uh, Ontario. You have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is KC9 VKV, the uh, Friday afternoon kiss of Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Papa Yankee Station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign, please. Okay, Jim, it's Kilowatt Zero, Hotel, Papa Yankee. My name is Lee. I'm in Scandia, Minnesota. Go ahead. Roger. Now, was that motel or hotel? Hotel H. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what radio are you running, Lee? I'm running also a ICOM 7300. Oh, Roger. Okay. Give me uh, about uh, 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system. Okay, Jim. Thank you for coming back to me, by the way. Uh, ICOM 7300, uh, uh, Ameritrune 1306, and the antenna is a high-gain 18-inch T vertical. Go ahead. Roger, and what was the mic? The mic is an SM30 ICOM. Okay, is that a condenser mic, do you know? Uh, I think it's an electret. I think it's uh, powered. Yeah, Roger. Sounds pretty good. Uh, you might, uh, again, you know, my, th my whole thing is articulation, which uh, has to do with upper frequencies, so I'm always uh, uh, prone to be requesting a little more top end, uh, maybe a couple of clicks more on the uh, treble EQ to uh, add some, a little more uh, definition to your to your audio because you know what happens is uh, we live in a less than perfect environment and uh, so sometimes when we're being killed by 90 uh, uh, dB of noise and uh, seven heterodynes and all that stuff uh, it's important that people be able to understand the words in all those bad conditions so the more articulated your audio is and that means the more more top end it has generally the better people are going to be able to hear you in adverse conditions, Roger? Yeah, that's correct. I had the treble at 2, plus 2, and I moved it up to a plus 4. I have kind of a bassy voice, so I have the bass at a minus 1, and now the treble at a plus 4. Oh, you sound beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> Get the Gorilla Tape out and tape her down, Roger. Okay, real good. And uh, let's see where the ALC is. ALC is just barely touching above the S9 mark. Okay, and you're running the uh, compressor at a 3, is that a Roger? Yes, it is at a 3. Now, I've been running it at a 1. Yeah, yeah, you really need a 3 to be able to uh, wind up with a 3 dB dynamic range at the end, which means that you would be running 80 to 85 percent of average peak modulation, Roger. Okay, real good. Well, Jim, I appreciate the help, and you'll have to tell me again how to get to the... Uh, 
how to get to the uh, YouTube sites, and is there a time uh, that you need to look for when I get there, Glenn? Uh, it usually takes us a couple of days to uh, upload it to YouTube, and the way to get there is you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Dick Victor. Let me <laughs> repeat that call sign again. Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by today's date, 11620. So that's all one search. KC9 VKV, 11620, and that should take you right to this recording. Roger. That recording will be quite long, so you kind of have to look for a time. Well, yeah, it'll be uh, in excess of an hour and a half, so, uh, you know, uh, you should be, uh, uh, gosh, uh, 4.15 it looks like now. Roger? Okay, real good. Well, I appreciate it, Jim, and I won't hold you because I know uh, you're able to help lots of people. Thank you. Thank you again. k 0 HPY. Roger there. And, uh, you know, the thing is, though, uh, sometimes you might want to listen to the whole thing. And I say that because there is a, a nice uh, a blend of different kinds of uh, audio and different kinds of sounds of transmissions. And uh, you might uh, find some more interesting than others. And then when you get down to yours, you can compare yours with all the others that you heard. And maybe, you know, you might want to do something different or you might uh, sit back and be proud crowd, you know? Yeah, I will certainly take the time to, uh, to listen to several of them and, uh, and get some ideas there, Jim. Thank you again. K0HPY will be clear. Uh, Roger Lee, and you're in Minnesota, that's a Roger? Yeah, Scandia, Minnesota. Recheck. Roger, Roger Lee, uh, three, 73 that way, sir, and you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is KC9 VKV, the QSO Vlog Net for Friday afternoon. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Recheck, Tim. Uh, station, go ahead. Yeah, it's Victor Echo 3, Papa Delta Lima again. I made that uh, adjustment there, Jim. Uh, if you can notice the difference or not, I'm not sure. Uh, tell me about uh, something else about your radio that you like. Seventy-three hundred. Uh, there's not much uh, not to like on it. Uh, I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about it. <laughs> so I think that's enough rambling. Uh, let's check. Go ahead, there, Jim. Roger, sir. Yeah, sounds sounds good. Now you know, the thing is, um, and and I suggest this from time to time, that uh, a person as they're transmitting might want to look at their watt meter or their power output meter. Uh, you know, the whole thing is uh, uh, the coordination of the eyes to the voice and all that stuff. And you want to try to keep that uh, modulation up, you know, as opposed to one word and pull off mic and all that. So you want to, you know, the more you look at your output uh, level, the more cognizant you are of uh, what your your speech, you know. And uh, so uh, I would suggest that uh, sometimes uh, folks um, concentrate on their watt meter as they're talking and try to keep that watt meter up at the favorite sweet spot, you know, by by uh, your voice alone. Roger? Ah, very good, Jim. Okay, thank you, sir. There's a whole lot of people waiting in the wing there. I don't want to hold them up. So uh, thanks again for our uh, supplemental chat there, and I do appreciate the assistance, sir. V3PDL. Roger, roger, PDL, and I'm looking at your uh, audio on the Spectrum Analyzer, and it looks well uh, balanced. Uh, of course, it doesn't, you know, we're not talking about going down to 100 cycles. Uh, that's a whole different ball game there. That's, uh, I don't uh, seldom reckon, recommend going down the, the person's voice down to 100 cycles because it's hard to keep enough top end up for balance when you're that uh, broad. So it, it's all a matter of balance, you know, and uh, so uh, when you roll off the bottom end at uh, maybe 300 cycles, uh, you know, your top end is nice and nice and bright. But the, the main thing, in addition to everything else, is particularly with the 7300 and all the newer radios, is that you have adjustable band pass. And you want to run that 7300 in the widest band pass possible. And that's uh, 100 to 2900. And uh, the 7300, you have... Um, you have three different choices for band pass, and I recommend that you move all of those um, band passes to the same thing, 29, uh, 100 to 2900, because uh, it's a shame to compromise uh, uh, that radio. Roger? 
Okay, awesome. Thanks again, Jim. I appreciate it, sir. 73 for now. Roger, roger. Uh, 73. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If uh, you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KB9, There's a station that uh, ends in echo. Uh, come back slowly with your call sign phonetically. This is Whiskey America 8 Echo, Don in Michigan. Roger, Don, in uh, Michigan, and uh, what radio are you running, sir? I'm running a 7300. 7300, Roger, Roger. Well, beautiful choice of radio there. And now, uh, if you would, uh, give me about uh, 10 or 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system so I can hear you. Okay, uh, again, the name is Don, located in Warren, Michigan. I'm running a QSO King. Uh, the top mount is about 20, 25 feet off the ground, and it's uh, hung in a V shape, so it's not optimal, but with a tuner, I could get it to uh, work. Uh, over. Roger, Don. I'm looking at your audio on my spectrum analyzer, listening to it. It's just beautiful. You have a very deep uh, bottom end there, much much deeper than uh, most radios, and but you have the top end to balance it. That's the most important thing. So um, uh, that uh, radio just sounds sounds beautiful. Roger, what mic are you using? Okay, I'm using the stock mic, but I have the bass and treble both set at plus three for bass and treble with the stock microphone. Over. Uh, Roger that. Now, now on that hand mic, uh, the main thing you want to make sure is that you pull it to your mouth, to the side of your mouth, and talk across it. Don't talk directly into it or you'll be getting a lot of a lip noise. So you pull it to the side of your mouth and uh, talk across it. Roger. Okay, that's what I'm doing now, and I'm watching the watt meter, too. So there you go. Is this, uh, is this okay like this? Yes, sir. Now, uh, you, you may think it's funny, but uh, you could get a uh, foam windscreen for that hand mic. And uh, you, you, <laughs> you, like, uh, you need to put a little piece of, uh, what do you, what's that white tape? Uh, oh, gosh, I can't even think of it. But anyway, you put a little piece of stripe of that tape on the right side of the microphone because the windscreen tends to cover both sides, and you, it could theoretically be possible to be talking in the back end, the wrong side of the microphone. So uh, you just put a little piece of white tape on the right side so you can see it uh, sticking out from the, winds, the uh, foam windscreen if you were to use that. Roger. Uh, QSL, Roger on that. So thanks a lot, and I'll let you get on to some other stations. W-A-A-E. Thank you. Roger, Roger. And your call was uh, W-A-A-D, Roger? Uh, QSL, QSL. Roger, Roger, Don. Uh, well, 73, sir, and have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday afternoon from uh, 3.30 till 5. This is KC9VKV. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo one, Five stations, loudest one, take it. Kilo one, Delta Sierra Kilo. Kilo One Station, Kilo One Station, come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. Kilo One Delta Sugar Kilo, K1DSK. Name is Devon, Delta Echo Victor Echo November, in Ashford, Connecticut, Charlie Tango. Five nine plus ten for you, go ahead. Roger, what was the name again, please? The uh, name was Devon, Delta Echo Victor Echo November, Devon, QSL? Roger, Devon, and uh, the radio was what? Uh, radio is ICOM, ICOM 7300, stock microphone. Go ahead. Roger, Kevin. Now, how, how do you like your radio there? Uh, oh, I love this radio. Well, this is my second radio, or third radio. <laughs> my main radio is Apache Lab, a non-7000 DLE. Uh, this is new to me about a month ago from a friend. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. Go ahead. Uh, Roger. Well, we have a generic uh, setup for that uh, radio uh, transfer side. Uh, in it, uh, right? You know, normal radios are a 10 dB dynamic range, uh, 30 percent average peak modulation. So, with our setup, we move that to a 3 dB dynamic range, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation. So, and it starts with that uh, compressor. I don't know if, if you know where the compressor is on that 7300, but uh, uh, we suggest uh, the compressor on at a three, Roger. 
Yes, sir. Compressor on at a three. Okay, compressor is on at three right now. All right, then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and you want to uh, speak fairly quickly, like one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, uh, into your mic and adjust your ALC uh, to, for mid scale to two thirds by way of your mic gain control. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, it's about two thirds with 24% mic gain. Go ahead. Excellent, excellent. And that should uh, put you in good stead. Uh, your uh, EQ uh, is uh, just fine with that microphone, Roger. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, do you have a scope? Uh, am I splattering at all? I'm not reading that, sir. I'm reading your, your ballistics uh, on a, actually a VU meter, uh, you know. Uh, I'm not actually looking at your sidebands, but uh, I can tell you that 7300, if you're just running mid-scales two-thirds, that 7300 is going to be uh, not a problem, Roger. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. And you have a good day, my friend. Eight three nine BKB KMDSK. Bye bye. See you, Devin. Uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, 73. And uh, this is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO vlog. We're running uh, this afternoon without uh, our internet SDRs uh, because there is no internet uh, for some reason or the other. I'll have to uh, investi <laughs> investigate that later. But right now we're running uh, our local radio and we have about five antennas that we can uh, run through uh, as far as copying the mail uh, locally. So this KC9 VKV. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, gosh, uh, loudest station, come back and try it again. Whiskey 4, Edward Victor Tango. Whiskey 4, Edward uh, Victor Tango, is that correct? Yeah, that's a Roger. You got that right. Go ahead. Alrighty, what's the name there, sir? Uh, my name is Orlando. Orlando is the handle. And we're located in Alabama, running an old Swan 700 CX, about 400 watts. Go ahead. Swan 700 CX, Charlie X-Ray, Roger. That's a Roger. Roger. Now, what, uh, what's the age on that radio? I think it was uh, between 1957 and maybe 1962. Oh, roger that, roger that, and uh, the microphone, uh, now, <laughs> let me uh, get this set up, uh, I was thinking about uh, that radio with uh, a D-104. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that, say again. I was saying, I could just see that radio and you running a, 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 a D-104 microphone, roger. Uh, we, I tell you, I wish I had a D-104 microphone, I got some kind of little $15 mobile mic. I have a Sure 444 sitting here that I probably should use, but this one's very handy. But we, we enjoy this rig. We run a vertical antenna, a 4BTV vertical, vertical. And I normally run Collins equipment. I, uh, I've got it put away right now, and I just got out the old Swan 700CX there. Go ahead. Roger. Now, Orlando, did that radio used to have a ping? Uh, was that the, the uh, swan that had the ping uh, on the CB side of, of things? No, negative, negative. I was trying to think of which what radio that was. That would uh, uh, they um, they had um, it was, had to do with the uh, the speaker when they stopped transmitting. They kept the uh, audio on, or somehow get, they would get feedback, uh, just a little ping, uh, when they uh, stopped keying. And I thought that was a swan. I wasn't sure about that. I hate, hate to, to accuse a, a nice swan of something like that, but I couldn't, I couldn't think of uh, anything else that it might have been. What, uh, what kind of signal report do you have on me there? Uh, gosh, uh, you are like a 12 over. Very, uh, very loud uh, 12 over, Roger. That's a rod. I'll tell you, you're saying you're 140 over plus. 40 over. I don't think I've seen the meter go that high. Go ahead. 
Roger, Roger. Well, we do have uh, our uh, no SWR dipole antenna. We're running one leg uh, broadband to New York and the other leg, uh, not broadband, but broadside to New York and the other leg uh, broadside to uh, Miami. So we do uh, say uh, when we built the station, we our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And uh, pretty much, uh, well, conditions uh, uh, helping, uh, we managed to do that. That, Roger. That's a Roger. I tell you, that's just amazing. You put, you put, I just about packed the needle that time. Just about packed the needle. Well, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate the report and everything, and I'm sure there's other people want to chat with you. So, have a nice day. 73 is W4EVT clear. Roger, or Roger Orlando, uh, 73 that way, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And, uh, gosh, we'd love to uh, have you check in uh, next uh, Friday if you uh, uh, would happen to be in the neighborhood. This is uh, KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon, QSO VLOC net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, November 4, X-ray Ocean. Is a November 4 something X-ray. Yeah, November 4, X-ray Ocean. The name is Dave. Roger, Dave. And whereabouts uh, are you located, sir? Well, we're located in uh, High Point, North Carolina, Central North Carolina, near Greensboro, Winston-Salem. And you're 20 over 9. wonder how we're doing up your way. Oh, Roger, the same. <laughs> Very hot signal, sir. Okay, well, thanks for the report. I've just been doing a little bit of antenna work here and uh, checking it out. Roger. Now, if you got just a minute, uh, I'm uh, going to double check my. Uh, I'm, we're running uh, in addition to our uh, dipole. Uh, we're running uh, our 10-foot uh, mag loop on a rotor, and I just wanted to uh, check that out. Uh, so, if you could come back and uh, tell me something about uh, what radio you're running and what you like about it. Okay. Uh, what's the name? Name here is Jim Julie at India Mike. Okay, Jim. Thanks very much. Running an ancient 40-year-old uh, Kenwood TS uh, 830S uh, and uh, driving a Collins 3001, about 600 watts. And the antenna is a very low inverted V with a reflector underneath. It's about 20 feet, 18, 20 feet off the ground. And uh, I've got two 70-foot uh, uh, pieces of uh, copper underneath it as a reflector, basically an NVIS antenna, but it works great uh, into Europe. Jim, go ahead. Oh, Roger. Well, it just sounds beautiful. Your audio sounds beautiful, too. So you, uh, you uh, get the uh, Gorilla Tape out and uh, tape her down, sir. Yeah, that's for sure. It's really funny. A lot of guys will ask me about uh, what kind of mic I'm using. I'm using a $2 Uniden CB mic, believe it or not, dynamic mic. Roger, Roger. Well, you know, um, <laughs> it doesn't cost a fortune if you know what you're doing. That's the anti-how. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jim, for the nice report. Glad to get it, and uh, glad to know the antenna's working okay. And you're right now, strongest signal on the band, but of course that'll change uh, momentarily. Thanks again, Jim. Appreciate the contact. Uh, November 4, X-ray Ocean. Roger, David, before you go again, you, uh, what radio are you running? Uh, Kenwood, TS-830S. 8.30, Sam. Roger. Thank you, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance to join us next Friday, we'd love to have you. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. And uh, gosh, uh, we'll be running now live till 5. Uh, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. There was an LON something uh, station. Come back slowly with your call sign. I think there was an LON or LN or something. KD9, LON, lucky old man. Lucky old man, LOM. Okay, and what was the first of that? Kilo Delta 9. Kilo Delta 9, lucky old man. Roger, and what's the name there? Now the name's Larry, and uh, we're working on a 7300 with a uh, ADB doing uh, about six, 700 watts. Roger, Larry, what's your location, sir? 60-foot loop that we put up here in the little backyard that we've got there, over. Roger, I doubled with you, sorry. Uh, wh where are you located, sir? Uh, we're located about 50 miles north of St. Louis, Missouri, in a little town called Mount Olive, Illinois. 
Oh, Roger, Roger. And uh, you were telling me about your antenna. Tell me that again. I think I dealt with you on some of that. Okay, well, it's a 260-foot loop uh, made out of a 14-gauge uh, insulated wire and uh, with a 4-to-1 ballon. I made it myself, and I've got a, just a little narrow, long backyard here, and I've got two or three antennas. This one I just built, and I've been working on it here the last day or two, which it seems like it's been doing pretty good for me. Oh, I, I would say just excellent, excellent. Now, the thing is, uh, you know, my situation, I never tear an old antenna down. When I put up a new antenna, I keep the old antenna as a reference because how else do you know how well you're doing or how badly you're doing, Roger, unless you have a reference from the last place you were. Oh, Roger, that, Jim. Well, we, uh, we live right beside a bar, uh, a half a block from the railroad track where there's a big microwave station, and uh, we have a lot of noise. Sometimes it's up to F9, F10, and you really you can't hardly hear on that. So I built the loop, and the loop knocks back about 3 dBs most days, and uh, get to where I can meet here and get out there and talk a little bit. I, I read about it at uh, QRZ, and uh, I built the thing. It was pretty easy to do. I just kind of found any place I could get it off 20, 25 feet off the ground and ran a wire through there. Oh, Roger, now you're talking about that bar noise. Are you talking about electromechanical noise, or are you talking about acoustic noise? Uh... I would say it's an electrical noise. We've got a bad power line right behind our house. Uh, we've got this bar next door to us. We live on the edge of town. It's got tons of uh, neon and machines and stuff over there. And then on the uh, east side, we've got that uh, microwave station. So we have a lot of electrical noise, a lot of hiss. You know, that's meter running for about F7 and F9 most days. Oh, uh, Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, uh, you know, um, the thing is uh, that uh, 7300 has a nice uh, uh, noise, um, what is that, um, impulse noise, uh, I forget what they call that, but uh, you could take a lot of that noise out uh, with that, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss, I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now. Repeat. I know what it is, but I mean the the actual physical button that takes all that out. It's a it's a noise uh, something. Noise blanker. Noise blanker. Gosh. Oh, thank you. I'm dying. I should. You could not think of that. Noise blanker, yeah. The uh, 7300 does a, a real good job. Now, you don't want to run that all the time because if you run across uh, somebody that's really running uh, some heavy modulation, it does introduce distortion. So you only want to use it sparingly when you absolutely have to, but uh, you can take off, take that impulse noise way down. Oh, Roger, that, Jim. Yeah, we, uh, we've been a uh, new, well, we still call ourselves a new ham because we've only been a ham for two years since we retired. But we've uh, kind of took this little 7300 and learned to tinker around with the bypass, uh, the filtering. Uh, you can actually reduce the, uh, the, you know, the filtering for receiving and stuff. And you can tune a lot of that out. It's just, uh, it's kind of like an old radio. It's just menu driven. And uh, most people are used to old radios. I'm, in fact, my first radio was a uh, 520 SE, which is still sitting over on the shelf and uh, needs a good owner that can do some tinkering with it. It's got a little age on it. Um, how's our audio there, Jim? We uh, want to get a check on that there. All right. Uh, we could be a little fuller, I think, there, uh, Larry. Uh, we have a tune-up, a generic tune-up for the 7300. Uh, starts with that compressor uh, coming in line at about a 3. Uh, engage your compressor at about a 3, Roger. Hey, Roger. We're at a 3. All right, then move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And now what you want to do is kind of speak a little bit faster than you normally would, so you keep that meter up so you can see how to adjust it. And you want to adjust that uh, ALC meter for mid-scale to two-thirds while uh, you're manipulating your mic gain control. So you set that the ALC level by your mic gain control. Okay, well, let's see. That's about half right there, half to three-quarters. I'll turn it down here a little bit. Uh, that's on, it was on 30, and we'll go down here to 20. How's that sound to you? 
Well, it sounds like it might be a little low. Uh, what, I, what we're saying is, and that's the reason why you want to speak a little bit faster, so you keep that meter up, and you can. It's a lot easier to adjust it when you when, when that meter is up all the time, you know. So you're speaking a little faster than normal, and you're adjusting it for mid scale to two thirds with your mic gain. Okay, we'll try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's about where it ought to be then. Alrighty, so uh, with that 3 dB dynamic range, you're now uh, 80 to 85 percent of average peak modulation. Again, what you might want to do is uh, take a look at your power output meter or your watt meter as you speak, and you'll see that there's a direct relationship between what you're saying and the, and the meter, you know. And uh, what you want to do is try to keep that meter up uh, as much as you can, as opposed to maybe looking around and being off mic and all that. So, you know, as you look more, uh, get in the habit of looking at your watt meter when you're speaking, then uh, you will keep that watt meter level up. Oh, uh, Roger? Oh, Roger. I understand that there. It runs about 800 watts as long as I stay about three, four inches from the mic, and uh, it holds there pretty steady there. Well, uh, Thanks for the help there, Jim. I don't want to hold you up because I know there's other people out there who want to try it out there, and I, I'm glad you uh, gave me a good uh, report there on that on that uh, loop antenna I built. So I'm, it's working pretty good. I got a better noise level, and uh, it's getting out. So that's all that counts there when you got a little power in the wire. So seven threes, and uh, good luck there. Oh, by the way, I used to live in New Albany. I used to work over there at Huntsman's Manufacturing for about 15 years. So, and my little brother, who's a ham operator, lives over there in Jeffersonville. So I'm familiar where your hometown is. Oh, Roger, do you have uh, his call sign, incidentally? Uh, it's AC9NE, and his name's Jerry. Gosh, uh, haven't, I don't think I've run across him, but uh, uh, be looking forward to it, Roger. Hey, Roger. Uh, he hangs on, on 40 meters most of the time. He's only got a couple antennas up right now, and... Uh, until the next spring, we'll get some more up for him. Uh, so uh, thanks again, Jim, and uh, glad you get in here and doing this for people, helping them set their antennas and set their microphones there. It'll make the uh, traffic on the band a whole lot better there. Over. Oh, Roger, Larry. And if you want to uh, hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, followed by today's date, 11620, that will take you to this recording. Uh, so it's KC9VKV 11620, and that will take you to this recording, Roger. Okay, I'll do that. I appreciate that there. So, 7 3, good luck, stay safe, and uh, hope we hear you again on the band. KD9, like your man, clear with, uh, get your call right here. Uh, KT9, Victor. Kilo Victor. Have a good day, sir. Roger, Roger, Larry. Three is that way, sir. Uh, 73. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. Uh, you got about uh, 18 minutes till 5. At what at uh, which point uh, we turn into a pumpkin. So if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, give me a shout. <laughs> Something up in Toronto? Yeah, hey, Jim, good afternoon. Uh, Victor Alpha 3, Victor Mike Delta Vito up here in Toronto. How goes it, my friend? Oh, uh, going good, sir. Going good. Uh, how you doing? Hey, we're doing okay. We're just helping you. Oh, sorry, we're just helping you. Actually, no, you're helping everybody else. Uh, <laughs> a great day here in Toronto, Jim. We're sitting at around 66 degrees in uh, cold country, so... Uh, we're not complaining. How are things your way? Uh, doing great now. My uh, All my internets are down. I have no internet this afternoon, so I have no SDRs. Copying you on my uh, local antenna. And uh, you're about uh, 15 over. And uh, your uh, EQ uh, sounds like you have a little more in the bottom end than uh, normal. Roger? Well, Jim, I think we said that we were talking a little few weeks back about using my $30 cheap microphone. Well, today we have in line here, Jim, for your entertainment, a 8-band uh, EQ. And we're not going to spend time doing it today, Jim, if it's a little bit off, because I want you helping maybe some of the other guys that might need it a little bit more than me. But uh, just for the record, uh, this is uh, the five-minute uh, uh, radio uh, mic hour with Jim. <laughs> 
And uh, this is an 8-band EQ with an RE20 Electro Voice uh, mic uh, hooked up there, Jim. Go ahead. Roger. Well, I am seeing activity down to 100 cycles, Roger. Yeah, very good. Uh, very good. And uh, any criti- any quick critique, and uh, I'll take it offline. Um, uh, definitely, I do recognize that there is some bottom end there, obviously, more than what you would probably hear uh, me on my high ICM or my BM800, but uh, any comments? Go ahead. Oh, it's, it's well balanced. Now, normally when folks start uh, turning uh, 100 cycles uh, in their audio pass, uh, things sound uh, start sounding a little muddy because uh, they can't keep the top end up for balance. But uh, your audio is uh, very well balanced, even with that low end. So it just sounds it sounds beautiful. Get the get the gorilla tape out. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was hoping to hear. Uh, that's what I was really hoping to hear, Jim. And I knew you would be able to confirm it with me. I was starting to I feel a little bead of sweat going down the sides of my my cheeks uh, thinking, "Uh uh-oh, he's going to nail me. (laughs) Hey, listen, it's always great to hear you, and I'm not going to tie it up long. We'll let you pick up. uh, I heard, uh, by the way, I heard a a young lady uh, calling in on the network. I think it was a young lady, so you might want to pick her up. I'm going to say 73, and uh, maybe we'll pick it up uh, offline uh, another day so we don't tie you all up this this evening. Hey, all the best, and great to hear from you. Your friend, VA3 BMD, up here in Toronto. Roger, Roger, Vito. Uh, uh, you uh, have a, uh, a great uh, weekend. Uh, good to hear you, man. And that, like I say, that audio is just mint. I would uh, keep everything just like that. You, you got that bottom end, but, uh, you know, looking at it now on the spectrum analyzer, the, the bottom end activity is about, at 100 cycles, is about half uh, the intensity as uh, uh, the upper end and mid-range. So it's there, but it's not uh, heavy. Uh, but it's a very, very nice sounding, and it's nice, nice touch. I uh, really like it. Uh, three's at uh, 73, uh, that way, uh, Vito, and uh, thanks for dropping by. And uh, again, uh, we'll look for you uh, next uh, Friday if you get a chance. Always a pleasure. And now, uh, you, he mentioned something about a female out there. I, I hate to be uh, sexist, but if there's a female trying to get in, uh, uh, go ahead. This is Casey and I'm BKV listening. There's a Delta II. Uh, come back slowly again with your call sign phonetically. Sure. Delta II, Germany, United, Tango. Okay, letter after two. Letter after two. Germany, Germany, golf. Germany, golf. G-U-T, Roger. Got G-U-T, Germany, United, Tango, QSL. Roger, and what's the name there? Our name is Karen, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Yankee, November. One more time, please. Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Yankee, November. Name is Karen. Karen, is that a Roger? Roger that. All right, Karen, what radio are you running? We got the Yezu FC. 450D, the simple beginner radio. Is that 450 boy or 450 uh, dog? 450 dog, 450 dog. Alrighty, and uh, give me about uh, 10 seconds and let me hear you uh, talk about your antenna system. Okay, uh, the antenna that I've got uh, on uh, for this rig, which right now is running at most 100 watts uh, without no just yet. Uh, we are running out to a vertical dipole, which is a Gap Titan VX. Uh, the Gap Titan VX multiband is about 35 to 40 feet up. QSL? Ah, oh, roger that, roger that. Doing you a good job. I'm copying you about uh, maybe 3 dB above my noise level, roger. Okay, great. Uh, roger that. And thank you for, uh, for the good report on that. Yeah. And 
Okay, and uh, gosh, uh, you could use maybe a little fattening. Uh, let me give you uh, a couple of ideas that you might uh, think about incorporating in that uh, tuning up that radio. Uh, in our generic tune-up, we uh, start with the uh, compressor engaged at a three. It's a token amount. No one will ever hear it, but it's the beginning of our uh, uh, dynamic range reduction. So uh, we would uh, run that uh, compressor at a three and then move to the ALC meter and with mic gain in hand and speaking rather rapidly so we can keep an eye on where that meter is we adjust it to mid-scale to two-thirds uh, by way of uh, the mic gain control. Roger? Roger that. Uh, what we'll do on this, uh, the compressor on, the, uh, on this model radio cannot be tuned manually. You cannot adjust the compressor manually. It is uh, it's tied into the equalizer. But I can uh, change the equalizer which is now set at normal and I can move it up to high. And that should change the compressor. Uh, DSL? All right, uh, just think about it this way. We're just looking for about a third of the capabilities of that compressor. We don't want a bunch of it. Uh, we, we don't even want half. We just want a third, a, to a token amount uh, is all that's necessary. And uh, not, uh, not a bunch, just a token amount, a third of its capabilities. So keep that in mind as you're trying to, um, you know, hook and crook <laughs> your way to, to uh, get that uh, working uh, correct. Roger. Okay, Roger. That's uh, Roger. That I have adjusted it uh, so that it is now um, it's gone from normal to high, and I'm I'm going from uh, I'm going uh, from uh, about half half to full half to full on the L C meter. Yes, sir. Roger, now you have slipped down a little bit. You're about a dB and a half above my noise, so I, I really can't hear you that cleanly. One other thought, though, earlier when, when I did have a little bit better copy on you, I thought that maybe you could use a little more top-end EQ, maybe a couple of clicks, a more treble EQ uh, to uh, bring a little better articulation to your audio. Roger. Roger. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, since you're going to have troubles with uh, the adjustment of that compressor, your final uh, test would be to a dead key and make sure that uh, you don't have a lot of residual because uh, if that uh, compressor is coming up too high, it'll start bringing up a bunch of trash as you dead key and you and you know so just uh, look at uh, where your signal goes uh, when you are uh, dead key uh, as far as uh, residual audio roger okay okay yeah uh, roger that i am uh, i should add that um, i am not using the uh, the microphone that uh, can package with the uh, with the radio uh got me an early uh christmas uh birthday gift uh from my brother and it is the inrad uh one of the inrad microphones and uh i was hoping that that might uh the uh the sound somewhat i'm i'm hoping uh, that has helped uh with copy uh back to you jim Roger, uh, like I say, your your signal is uh, too too light to be able to uh, to critique uh, critically. So, but maybe uh, next Friday, if you get a chance, uh, join us. Maybe we'll have uh, a little bit better conditions. Roger. Okay, Roger that. I will be here, and uh, we'll definitely hope uh, that 40 meters is a little kinder uh, to me uh, next Friday. Sounds good, and I appreciate the uh, the comeback on this, Jim. Uh, really, really helpful to understand. Back to you from KBTGC. Roger, and the, again, the hand, uh, handle is Karen. Is that a Roger? That's a Roger. It's Karen. It's a different spelling. It's Charlie Alpha Romeo Yankee November, but yes, that is Karen. Great, great. Alrighty, let me say 73 up that way, and uh, good to uh, talk with you. And uh, like I said, if you get a chance, join us next Friday. Thank you, Jim. 73.
Thanks for the uh, for the input. Yeah, comment. Uh, comment station, go. Yeah, Karen, if you have a copy on my station, it's uh, Vito in Toronto. Can you go up three kilohertz to seven nine or sorry seven one nine one? Karen, if you're copying me, seven point one nine one. Roger. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. Roger, Vito. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QC of VLOCnet. Uh, gosh, we're approaching 5 o'clock. Uh, what, what time we turn into a pumpkin? So we got five minutes. Uh, anybody want to radio check? Give me a shout. November 3. Kilo Delta 8, Kilo Zulu Charlie. Zulu Charlie Station. Uh, come back with the call sign slowly, phonetically. Uh, kilo. Uh, yes, Jim. Kilo Delta 8. Kilo Zulu Charlie, Roger. Kilo Zulu Charlie, Roger. Uh, this is KC9 VKV. What's the name there? Yeah, Jim, good afternoon. This is Tim in West Michigan, Tango India Mike, Roger. Roger, Tim. Gosh, uh, blowing me away here. Look like about a 15 over on my local antenna. Well, I appreciate that. Kind of a new station. Got a uh, a new ACOM 1010 in line. Uh, eight, uh, what was your radio again? Well, I'm running the uh, the ICOM 7300, but uh, the helper is a uh, brand new addition to this station. It's an ACOM 1010. Roger. Uh, Roger. Now, how much uh, power are you developing there? Uh, we're about 500 watts. Oh, 500 watts, well spent. <laughs> what uh, antenna system? Uh, actually, it's uh, it, it's store bought, but um, it's, it it can't beat it. It is the My Antenna 8010. Just an in-fed wire going uh, to the trees in the backyard, and then it takes a, a hard right, so it's an actual L pattern. Roger. Uh, Roger, and uh, what kind of uh, SWR are you running, let's say, at, uh, on this frequency? Um, below, well, usually about a, uh, a 0.5 uh, is where about where I'll climb to uh, with power. Roger, is that a 1.5? Uh, just a 0 0.5, 0.5. Oh, Roger, Roger, well, good sounding. Uh, very good. And your audio is just nice. Your dynamic range is uh, 3 dB. Uh, no need to go into uh, any of that stuff. Uh, uh, just uh, perfect, Roger. Well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, the last time that we had spoke, I had a little homework to do to work on. We ran out of time, but I, uh, I took those readings and uh, set them accordingly. And uh, I was just making sure that I didn't have too much background noise with the new uh, desk mic and S. M50, that's SM50 from ICOM, Roger. Roger. Oh, Roger. Now, just uh, get the duct tape out, or, or I'm sorry, the gorilla tape out, and uh, uh, seal it up. It's perfect. All right. Very good, Jim. Thank you very much. I appreciate the flowers, and I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times. If I sound half as good as you, I will be very happy. So, 73 is Jim. Uh, this is Tim in Michigan, KD8KZC, and we appreciate it all. Roger, Tim. 73, sir. Have a good, great afternoon, a beautiful weekend. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. And, uh, gosh, well, maybe we can get uh, one more in. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, Charlie. So Alpha 3 Papa. Alpha 3 Papa? Yeah, this is November Alpha 3 Papa. Just wanted to drop in and say hello to you, Jim. Uh, I was just looking at my... Uh, uh, YouTube, uh, the last time we talked when you tweaked up my uh, ICOM uh, uh, 7300, I'm on uh, my ICOM uh, 7410, 7410 right now. I think uh, this one's pretty pretty well tweaked up. Uh, I won't hold it. So I'll let some other stations uh, uh, get your help there. Over. Roger. It looks looks uh, fairly good uh, on the setup. Uh, I would suggest a, uh, a foam windscreen uh, that would just uh, be the uh, uh, crowning uh, glory to perfection there, Roger. Oh, yeah, Roger that. I still haven't got around to getting a big enough windscreen for my uh, 
ICOM 7, or my IC7, not IC, my SM50 mics. I'll, I'll get, get one eventually uh, here. But anyway, have a great day and stay away from that virus. Over. Oh, Roger that. Now, you know, we're talking a, um, a foam windscreen, and uh, you can uh, slit those and uh, open them up just a little bit. The main thing is that the top of the uh, the uh, foam windscreen f fits over the mic where you you know your voice is no normally going to penetrate. Roger. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, Roger. Um, like I mentioned last time, uh, I have a catalog from a music store that has uh, a variety of. Uh, uh, different windscreens, and of course they have a customer service line. I, all I need to do is call them and give them the dimensions of this thing. They're a very customer-oriented uh, place, and they have a huge, a huge catalog of different uh, music, uh, audio-related uh, uh, items there. So, yeah, thanks a lot, and have fun there, uh, uh, Jim. Uh, KC9VKV from. Uh, NA3P to handle here is Dick, by the way, Delta India, Charlie Kilo, and Culpepper, Virginia. Over. Uh, Roger, Dick. Uh, sounding be beautiful. Just uh, don't don't change a thing. Just leave it right like that, except for that foam windscreen. That would be the the last thing that you would need, and you would be uh, you would be PBS uh, FM broadcast. Perfect. Now, I don't know if I should say PBS, but you'd be. Perfect broadcasting, anyway. <laughs> Three is that way, uh, 73, Dick, and uh, you have a great uh, afternoon and beautiful weekend. And with that, uh, we, uh, uh, gosh, uh, we've come to that uh, time when I'm beginning to turn into a pumpkin here. So I guess it's time for us to clear out. We've enjoyed it this afternoon. Hope you have. And uh, if so, and if you've participated and would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, followed by today's date, 11 6 20. That will take you uh, directly to this recording. Give us a couple of days to get it uploaded to YouTube. And so, with that, uh, we'll say uh, we've uh, enjoyed it and we'll be returning this frequency to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear.